Hey you guys, it's Tang here. So today in this guide video, I'm going to show you where to find your Earth of the Fury. Might of the Earth. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Thang here. So today in this video, I'm going to show you where to find your Might of the Earth set dungeon portal and how to do it. Uh, so we need to be in Act 2 and once we are in Act 2, we're going to go to the city of Caldeum right here. And once we're there, we're just going to make it all the way through these things. Right here, there you go, one, two, three, and then we're going to make it to where Belial is. Once we get there, that is where the set dungeon portal is. There we go. So this is where the Dutch set dungeon portal is, and let's go inside. Alright, so once we are inside, we have our objectives right there. We have to kill an X amount of mobs without taking fatal damage. Then use Leap, Ground Stop, and Earthquake in under 6 seconds for every elite. And then freeze and kill at least one enemy every 10 seconds for one minute. So the second objective, kill and freeze, is really, really super easy to do as you can see. But the first one is a little bit tricky. Uh, it's within the wording itself. So you have to use Leap, Ground Stop, and then Earthquake within that order to actually get that achievement now if you use it like you know uh, ground stomp leap earthquake you won't get it you will fail you actually have to use that within that order and also you know when you leap to an uh, to an elite sometimes your elite misses as in like it's it's within that parameter but it doesn't and they freeze and you think it's 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 been hit um, and then you use your ground stomp and earthquake and you actually don't get it sometimes you fail so you make sure you know if you leap towards an enemies and you still have that leap leap again just to make sure and then ground stomp and then earthquake and then you should be fine it's super easy and um, so as you can see in the list of gears that I have the inventory stuff the main important item for this is the loot sock which allows us to gain an extra two leap before it hits the cooldown right so you get three leaps in a row and then your cooldown and uh, we can reset that by using by spending the uh, sorry the wrath the wrath that we have oh, sorry rage fury the fury sorry the fury that we have by throwing a boulder with the ancient sphere throw the rune to throw the boulder which is pretty much uses all our fury so that we can reset the leap right there and then so that's how you're that's how you're seeing me jump back and forth all the time and we're going to be using the cold rune for the earthquake um, so it pretty much freezes everything really easily and it damages things a lot so if you match the gears that I have and you match the damage that I have every single leap that you do it will throw down earthquake with the chill effect and it will pretty much kill all the things around you but you know you still want to make sure to that they are dead before you leave because uh, sometimes you know they'll go in and then just go out and then there it's like the tiny little tick left that they need uh, just make sure that they die before you leave the area so I mean but even then if they as you can see they pretty much die every single leap that I do or the earth the earth uh, the earthquake that I do that no that the leap makes so it's it's pretty easy it's just takes some um, use to doing the mechanic of it and that's that's about it I mean it was pretty easy it took a few time a few frustrating time to understand that main objective right there but other than that it's it's a pretty easy grasp to do you just leap three times throw your boulders keep leaping until you hit an elite mob see one there you go and then that's how you do the uh, that's how you do the achievement that, that's pretty much it just be very very thorough with everything in the dungeon those little tiny alien babies they're very very tiny they can be everywhere and anywhere and sometimes you miss just one and you only have 20 seconds left and that's not enough to go through the whole dungeon again to actually find where they are uh, that's pretty much it so enjoy the rest of the gameplay and good luck with it and if you like this video a thumbs up would definitely be appreciated if it helps you out as well and don't forget to share if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and don't forget to press subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye